Hi, I'm Ken Stewart, part of the Healthy Aging Network. And I'm gonna talk a little bit today about 10 ways that you can help uh, reduce your risk of cognitive decline by adapting some key lifestyle habits. First, break a sweat. Anything that you can do. So engage in cardiovascular exercise, uh, get that heart going, it increases blood flow to the brain uh, and to the body. Uh, anything that you can do like that is, is gonna reduce your risk of cognitive decline. Hit the books. If you have uh, formal education, formal education is going to help you have some resiliency uh, against that. So it reduces your, your risk of cognitive decline. For example, take a class at the local college, community center, or online. Butt out. If you smoke, stop. Don't use tobacco. Tobacco products causes increases in blood pressure. Uh, cognitive decline is worse in, pe in worse in people that smoke than people that have never smoked. Follow your heart. If it's good for your heart, it's good for your brain. So if you can reduce the factors for stroke and, and cardiovascular disease, then you're going to reduce the, the risk of dementia because 25% of your blood flow goes to your brain. So take care of your heart and your brain may just fall out. Heads up, if you're doing a sport that uh, you could hit your head, wear a helmet, wear your seatbelt, do those kind of things. So prevent head injury if you can. That's an easy step. Fuel up right. Eat and drink things that are good for your body, uh, things in low fat, uh, increase your vegetable and fruit intake, uh, lower your fat intake, uh, things like the Mediterranean diet, the Mediterranean DASH diet, or the MIND diet can help uh, contribute to that reduction. Catch some Z's, get some sleep. Sleep is a good thing for you. Uh, that's when the brain rebuilds. So if you're getting good, healthy sleep, then you're more likely to, um, um, you know, you're gonna build up resistance to um, losing that memory loss. Also, if you can, manage stress because stress mimics dementia. Engage in social activities. Always try to be around people, pursue activities that are meaningful you, for you, uh, share your love of animals, consider volunteering, uh, join a choir, uh, after school program, or just share activities with friends and families. And then also the last thing is challenge yourself. Do things that are going to help your brain right? Things that challenge you. So it could be a jigsaw puzzle. It could be playing cards. It could be um, learning a new hobby. Challenge your mind may have short and long-term benefits for your brain. Take care of your mental health. Some studies link a history of depression with increased risk of cognitive decline. So seek medical treatment if you have symptoms of depression, anxiety, or other mental health concerns. And that's also managed stress.